Log on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka the Balding Refact, coming at you today's video, which is a huge update on the Nano Aquarium. I'm talking tubing enemies, I'm talking huge cleanup crews, I'm talking spider crabs, I'm talking cleanup shrimp, I'm talking uh, what we've got bubble tipping enemies in here now. So let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I am indeed the Balding Reefer. I specialise in tropical, cold water, pond and marine fish. This video is a huge update on the nano build. Uh, and if you're returning, welcome back, my people. I know a lot of you were interested on last week's video that I did on Fish Room Thursday about the nano tank looking pretty empty. And I kind of thought, okay, what can I do? Um add some more life into this and make it super, super interesting. So that's exactly what I've done. Uh, lots of cleanup crew gone in here, two anemones, bubble tip anemones, uh, three more chromies, a more eel, um, a cleaner shrimp as well, some hermit crabs, some um, spider crabs, some vampire crabs as well, uh, as well as a lot of algae cleaners and stuff like that. So the tank is looking pretty full at the moment. It does need scaping, but for the time being, like I say, these have only been in here since uh, late last evening. Now, just before we get into this and I'll spin you around, we're getting very, very, very close to a thousand subscribers now. At the time of doing this video, we're actually on 945 um, subscribers. So if you could do me a humongous favor, keep sharing the video, keep liking the videos, keep subscribing uh, and keep sharing the love, leaving me comments and likes down in the video section down below. You don't understand how much it means to me that you guys are on this journey with me. But enough about that. Let me spin you around and show you the tank. Okay, here it is in all of its glory. As you can see immediately at the front, just down here, there's two bubble, um, not bubble, sorry, there's two tubing enemies that are there. I am going to show you a close up of the tank in a moment, but I just want you to be able to see the fish just literally doing their thing in the background. We are going to do a bit of a, uh, a live feed uh, as well on today's video. Now, if you look down here, That's a more right here, popping in and out. That's the more eel, just literally doing his thing. You can see the crab there on top of the tube and enemy. The spider, the spider crab is tucked away in the very bottom right hand side. Um, big shout out to uh, my guy Lawrence, who on last week's video advised me to keep the uh, the algae scraper in the water so I don't get any salt creep or any salt build up or anything like that. Uh, a follower of mine, Fuji Cube, reached out and said, I've, I've got some stuff that I'd like to move on. So I went down and collected them yesterday. Uh, there was two bubble tipping enemies. There was a whole, whole host of various different cleanup crews, hermits, etc., uh, etc. Et the spider crab. So the, the two of the bigger chromies that you can see on the front are literally just doing their thing. The um, clownfish haven't actually hosted in the anemone at all as of yet. And if you look just here in the middle, you can see the cleaner shrimp as well. Let me take you off the tripod so I can get you some closer footage. Okay, so here it is in all of its glory. Here's the little uh, cleaner shrimp there, just doing his dang, swimming around and cleaning up. The Some of the new cleanup crew that we've got going on. The various different hermits and stuff. Turbo snails in here. There's a nice crab on the rock there, just underneath. We've got the bubble tip anemone, which is just down there at the back. Let me switch you onto the blues so you can see it properly. There it is, at the back. He's in a little bit of a bad way at the moment, but Susie made me aware of that when I picked him up. So I just need to do a little bit of research on that. Obviously the big the big chromies now. The more eel is tucked just down the side there. It will pop out in a second when we do a bit of a feed. But here are the tubing enemies. Also got a little bit of a uh, crab guy down here just doing his thing. Sifting away through the sand, keeping it all nice and clean. But yeah, the uh, the tubing enemies, I've literally put them in. 
Um, they seem happy and settled down here. They are absolutely humongous. They have got a lovely green hue to the center of them, as you can see just there. Doing super, super well. The spider crab, if you guys can see him or not, is just down there in the corner. This morning when I came down, he was perched up on here. It took me about 10 minutes to actually find him because of how well that he blends in. But I mean, he's absolutely thriving at the moment. Big shout out to Hannah the Brave as well, because I've got to go down and get a load of different um, corals off her as well um, to be able to put into here. The tube anemones aren't going to be staying in here for long. They're going to be going into the Lawrence tank. So for those of you that don't know and don't join me on the Friday Night Lives, Lawrence is an avid marine follower of mine. Um, so as an ode to Lawrence, I'm going to be doing him his own dedicated reef tank. And it's going to be called the Lawrence. So the two tubes for the time being, I'm going to get some more sand today, some more coral sand, because they need about an inch to be able to get into. But they seem pretty happy at the moment just doing the thing. But as I promised, do a little bit of a feeding. So what I'm going to do is I've got some um, freshwater clams. So I'm going to take them out, thaw them, chop them up into bits and then drop them into the tank so you can literally watch it all come alive. But before we do that, I think the uh, spider crab's on the move. Let me snap back to you in a second. Okay, so I've got the freshwater uh, clams all chopped up into little cubes now. And all I'm going to do is sporadically drop these around the tank. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll get to see the uh, the more ale pop out and say hello. And Ox took himself just down this crevice right there. But everything seems to love the uh, the freshwater um, clams. I mean, you can see the crab there going ten to the dozen. Now we can smell it, and already started to pick some off. Another little crab down the bottom there, making a little uh, mad dash for things. This little guy down here, super, super interesting. But I absolutely love the Nano Reef Tank now. It's really started to come into life, which is absolutely tremendous. Little crabby down there doing his thing, chomping away. There he is, now we've been brought into focus. He's now doing his thing as well. These guys just getting all the bits that are uh, up there floating around. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Oh, here's the more, eh? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of the Nano Reef Tank. Hopefully the more I comes out for you. That is absolutely stunning. Obviously he's a semi-aggressive fish, or should I say a predator fish, but I mean these guys seem to be uh, sticking out of his way for the time being. He's happy as Larry down there in his little crevice doing his thing. But I'm super, super impressed with this. I do actually want to get some uh, long tweezers so I can actually uh, hand feed him. I'm getting used to taking food out of my hand. That would be pretty cool. But I'm, uh, I'm definitely loving the amount of life that's in here now. Like I say, the uh, the bubble, the tube and enemies are going to be going into their own tank. We're going to be upgrading them and putting them inside, the, inside of the Lawrence. Yeah, I'm super happy and super stoked. But yeah, there we have it. Told you I was going to get some more stuff for the um, nano reef builds that we've done. Um, the Lawrence build is going to be an absolute monster of a marine tank, which is why I got the big tube and enemies. Yes, they are a little bit too big for that tank, but I'm not particularly bothered about it for the time being. I know it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing or anything like that, but... 
it's coming along. I've got a lot of stuff coming off Hannah the Brave as well to go in here. So the tubing enemies will be coming out in about a week or so. Uh, and the stuff from Hannah will be going um, into the Nano Reef as well. So again, there'll be a full update on different corals, coral care guides and stuff like that that's going to be coming out over the next three to four weeks. But just look at it. It looks absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. Uh, as I said at the start of this video, though, guys, super, super close now to a thousand subscribers. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting down below. We've got the big Balding Reefer giveaway, 250 quid's worth of Balding Reefer merch. We've got the All Pond Solutions um, 1400EF and the All Pond Solutions external uh, pre filter to go with it as well. In total, there's about £400 worth of goods on offer. All you've got to be doing is commenting down below. I'm going to do a random video selector and then a random comment selector as well. So it can be one of any of my videos that I've released over the past 18 months when we get to the thousand mark. But I love watching this. I love the marine side of things. Let me know what you guys think of the tank down below. But I'm going to call it a day there. Oh, by the way, if you want some merch, head over to www.thebaldingreefer.com uh, and you can pick yourselves up uh, a mug, a t-shirt, a jumper or anything like that. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, people, stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.